For what purpose does the gentleman from Indiana rise? Mr. Speaker, uh, Mr. Chairman, I have an amendment at the desk. Chair, recognize the gentleman from Indiana. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I believe with all my heart that ending an innocent human life is morally wrong. But I also believe it's morally wrong to use the taxpayer dollars of millions of pro-life Americans to fund abortion providers. The Pence Amendment before the House today simply states that none of the funds made available under this act shall be available for Planned Parenthood for any purpose under Title X. Now, Title X is the only federal grant program that provides Americans with comprehensive family planning and related preventative ser health services, and it does important work in communities around the country. Now, while I understand that current laws and regulations prevent Title X funds from flowing directly to funding abortions, today the largest recipient of federal funding under Title X is Planned Parenthood, and they are well able to use the resources they receive from taxpayers to offset resources and free up resources to engage in the abortion trade, which they boast last year of over 300,000 abortions performed. Now, Planned Parenthood, the largest abortion provider in America, should not be the largest recipient of federal funding under Title X. I urge my colleagues in both parties to join me in supporting the Pence Amendment. The time has come to deny all federal funding to Planned Parenthood of America, and the Pence Amendment would do that. The Pence Amendment simply states that none of the funds made available under this act are available for Planned Parenthood for any purpose under Title X. That's all it does. The Pence Amendment does not cut one penny from Title X. It merely prohibits those funds from flowing to the largest abortion provider in America. The Pence Amendment is endorsed by National Right to Life Committee and a score of other organizations representing traditional values. We cannot reduce the number of abortions in America while increasing federal funding to the nation's leading abortion provider. The largest abortion provider in America should not also be the largest recipient of federal funding under Title X. The time has come to deny all federal funding to plan Parenthood. I urge my colleagues in both parties to join us in supporting this sensible amendment. Let's choose life. Let's defend the defenseless. Let us defend taxpayers. I urge adoption of the Pence Amendment. The question is on the amendment offered by the gentleman from Indiana. All those in favor say aye. aye. All those opposed, no. no. In pity of chair, the noes have it. The gentleman from Indiana. Yes, Mr. Chairman, on that I ask the yeas and nays. Pursuant to Clause 6 of Rule 18. Does the gentleman ask for a recorded vote? Yes. yes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Pursuant to Class 6 of Rule 18, further proceedings on the amendment offered by the gentleman from Indiana will be postponed.